Hi, I'm Wanza Mason for Bath City Beat, and I'm here at the Mount Clemens Public Library with meteorologist Paul Gross, who will be telling us about his new book, Extreme Michigan Weather. Don't like Michigan weather? Wait 10 minutes. It's an old joke, but one that shows how temperamental the weather in the Great Lakes states can be. Paul Gross, a meteorologist for WDIV TV Detroit, shows you exactly how extreme Michigan weather can be in his new book, Extreme Michigan Weather the wild world of the Great Lakes states. I love to teach people. I want people to understand why the weather is happening. So I finally decided, well, I'm gonna sit down and I'll just put this all to paper and write a book. And it was stunning to me when I was uh, told by my publisher, the University of Michigan Press, that nobody had ever written a book about Michigan weather. Well, the book is about Michigan weather and it was my great surprise that nobody has ever written a book about Michigan weather. I was really stunned by that. I don't get the chance to explain the weather like I want to when I do the weather on TV, and this gave me the chance to explain it. So it's really about everything we get, and we get almost everything. And so it just, it's my opportunity to explain what we get and then why we get it. When storm systems develop and, and come into the Great Lakes and mature over the Great Lakes in early November, those things become monsters. And we call those the gales of November. And it's because of the Great Lakes that these things are so frequent and so bad in, in early November and in fact that period in early November from like the I think it's the first to the 10th is the period where these are most likely to happen because that's that combination of lakes still being relatively mild and the cold air coming down from uh, you know from Canada. You know when I do the weather on TV I only get two and a half minutes maybe two minutes to do the weather and it's not enough time to really explain something maybe it can take one part of the weather segment, you know, maybe it's 30 seconds to explain something, but then I've got only a minute and a half or two minutes left to do the forecast. So, you know, sometimes we can explain things on the air, but not to the depth uh, that I want to. And I finally, just one day, literally, I just said, you know what, I got to write all this stuff down. <laughs> and, and so I just wrote a book. It's a great feeling of pride and accomplishment. I mean, anybody who's written a book knows that it, it, it really is an accomplishment. Um, I'm still not used to being called an author. I like to call it my gift to the state of Michigan because this is our book. This is Michigan's book. And it's with a great deal of pride that I used a local publisher, University of Michigan Press, and I insisted that they not send it out to be printed out of state. They used an Ann Arbor printer. So this is Michigan's book in terms of the jobs, too. Every job associated with this book is a Michigan job. And no, I'm not big-headed and say I saved the state's economy, because I didn't. But I did my little part, and hopefully others would follow that lead and do their part as well and try and buy things local and, and produce things locally. Although Michigan is known for its crazy weather, it is still a good place to live and visit. For more information about Paul Gross and his new book, visit GrossWeather.com. For Bass City Beat, I'm Wanza Mason.